It's always important to save or backup your files. You never know when you're going to have an unexpected interruption of power, software crash, who knows. So it's important to be able to save or do backups of your files. Now, good rule of thumb is to always save as you work, and you have a couple of places you can do that. You have a save file right here where you can save the uh, program that you're working on. That's like a quick save. You can also do a save as. So if you need to save it as a different name or you need to put it in a different folder, uh, you can use save as just as you do in uh, most other programs. Within your application menu right here under the large blue A, you also have a save and a save as option as well. Now, you also have backup capabilities in plant. So you can have an automatic save or you can pick it to do an automatic save every so often. So let me show you what I'm talking about there. Let's go ahead into the application menu and look down at the bottom for a button that says options. When you go to the options, you're going to see some tabs going across and you want to go to the one that says open and save. So you'll see that where it says file safety precautions. I do have mine set for automatic save and I want to do it every 10 minutes. Now it says create a backup copy with each save. Now when you create a backup copy, it's going to create a copy of the file with a .bak extension on it. So that's not actually saving the drawing. It's kind of acting as a file that you can use to restore after a crash. So kind of view it as a temporary file. So what you're doing is the first one is going to save normally, but every time you save the second one, that's going to push it to the backup copy. So you're always going to be one save behind with your .bak files. Okay, so example, the second save is going to be the first file moved to the BAK file. So that allows you kind of a safety net in the event of a fail, any kind of crash, corruption, anything like that. So in the event that that happens, then you can go to your Windows Explorer folder and you can change the extension from BAK to a DWG and you will have the file and it'll be all saved for you and you can rescue your lost information.